Hi everyone, welcome to the visual guide for St. Mosian's Arboretum. This is one of two new dungeons made available by Patch 3.1 in Final Fantasy XIV Heavensward. Leave any worries at the door because this guide will help you branch out into the new content while laying down the roots you'll need to succeed. My name is Mistech and I'll be your dungeon guide. The trash in this instance is fairly familiar with mechanics and AoEs you've seen before. Watch out for some surprises though. The first boss is Rose Garden. Vine Probe will hit the primary target pretty hard and under your tanks should watch their cooldowns as necessary. Throughout the fight, the Rose Garden will run to the center and spawn a few untargetable adds around the room. These adds will each begin to cast extremely bad breath in a set location, while the boss casts a much larger breath that moves around the room. Rose Garden's hitbox will also turn to poison, slowing any player inside of it. Your goal is to avoid each bad breath while turning with Rose Garden to avoid unnecessary damage and debuffs. Rose Hip adds will spawn around the room that should be killed as soon as possible. These will deal damage to Ren and players. The extremely bad breath dance will repeat. Keep an eye out for ads spawning during this time as well. These mechanics will repeat until the boss is down. This section of trash deals with our favorite mobs in the game. Watch for final sting and cool down appropriately. The second boss is the Queen Hawk. Tanks and healers watch for her stinger cell attack as it can do a fair amount of damage. Apatoxin will place a ground poison AoE that should be avoided. Healers be on the lookout for the group wide damage. Untargetable adds will spawn around the outer edge of the room and throw out random stingers at players. When the queen casts a sail, the outer adds will begin to target random players with column AoEs. Avoid these telegraphs as necessary. Continue avoiding the toxin puddles. When the queen casts a veil, the adds will enter the room and tether to her, buffing her damage and rendering her essentially immune. All players must switch to these adds and destroy them. The queen will remain stationary and cast AoE blasts during this time. Once these adds are down, new adds will spawn around the room. When the queen casts ally, be on the lookout for where the adds are positioned. They throw tons of stingers across the room, doing massive damage to anyone caught in their line. Move to a safe spot to avoid this. The fight will now repeat. Since there are more adds around the room, more damage will go out and each attack will have more telegraphs to dodge. Burn the boss until she's down. The next set of trash is nothing special, but I I would like to make a request to have the warrior bear mount sport this lovely flower hat. Thanks. The last boss is Belladonna. As with all the bosses in this instance, she has a hard-hitting tank crunch. When she casts Atropine Spore, all players must collapse into melee range. Soul Vacuum will do group-wide AoE damage. Healers be ready. These adds will spawn and move to a random area before casting a large AoE circle around them. Avoid them as necessary. Anytime the boss casts Fraun Fatale, all players need to turn their characters around or they'll be seduced and run to the bulbs, where they'll take unnecessary damage, be debuffed, and probably die. Players may also be targeted by this marker and AoE circle. Move away from others to avoid extra damage. Stationary flower adds will spawn that start to cast Decay. If allowed to cast, Decay will do a high amount of damage and debuff players. Destroy these as fast as possible. Rinse and repeat until you've finished weeding the garden. And there you have it, the Arboretum. This one is sure to be a favorite. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. As always, thanks for watching. Up next, we'll head back into Ferris Hard. Till next time.